Hi, my name is Pat Duffy and I'm an Edward Jones Financial Advisor here in Alma. I'm also a member on the Board of Directors of United Way. And I'm pretty excited to be with you today to read a book. Um, my kids are grown up now and I haven't had a chance to read them a book in a long time. And I don't have any grandkids yet, so this is pretty exciting for me. So before we want to get started, I wanted to introduce a couple books that made kind of the final selection before we picked the final book. And the first one is um, a book called I Just Forgot by Mercer Mayer. It's a little critter book, and there's a the little critter, and there's his friend the mouse. And these were books I read to my kids when they were uh, your age, a long time ago. The second book comes to me from Chloe Connor at Loose Road Elementary School. And this is a very cool series that I didn't know anything about before um, Chloe introduced me to them. It's called Waiting Is Not Easy by Mo Willems. And these are very fun books to read. So those two were two of the three final books before we picked the final one. And a friend of mine actually was the one that picked the book. And I'm going to have uh, my friend help me out here. So the final book was called It's Not Easy Being Bunny. And this is my friend, Bunny Penny. And Bunny Penny was part of the process to help me select this book. And this was one of your favorite books, right? Excellent. Are you ready to help me read it to all the boys and girls? Good. You can hold the pages and help me keep the book steady while I read it, okay? Excellent. So let's get started with It's Not Easy Being a Bunny by Marilyn Sadler. And here we go. P.J. Funny Bunny was very sad. He did not like being a bunny. And there's P.J. sitting on a stump, not very happy at all. His mother ate him eat cooked carrots every single day. He had far too many brothers and sisters, and his ears were very, very big. And those are very big or ears, aren't they, Bunny Penny? One day, PJ decided to leave home. I don't want to be a bunny anymore, said PJ. I want to be a... And now we have to figure out what's going to happen next. It's very exciting. A bear! And PJ went to live with the bears. And there's PJ, I love the bow tie, with his new friends, the bears. But when the bears went to sleep for the winter, PJ could not sleep at all. Living with the bears was not very exciting. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear. I want to be a bird. And PJ went to live with the birds. They look like they're having a lot of fun. PJ liked being a bird until he tried to fly. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bird or a bear. I want to be a... And that's, the, there's PJ falling, trying to be a bird. But let's find out what he's going to be next. Beaver. And PJ went to live with the beavers. The beavers liked to work very hard. PJ did not like to work at all. So PJ said, let's see, and there's the bear, beavers and PJ working. You can tell PJ's not happy at all. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver. I want to be a pig. And PJ went to live with the pigs. These look like pretty happy pigs to me. They're kind of dancing pigs, and PJ fit in pretty good. Until, but the only thing that the pigs like to do was sit in the mud. And there they are all sitting in the mud. 
So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig. I want to be a moose. And PJ went to live with the moose. Have you ever met a moose, Bunny Penny? No, they're huge. I don't think this is going to go well. But PJ could not make good moose calls. And there's the moose call right there. Merk. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig or a moose. I want to be a possum. And PJ went to live with the possums. And there's the possums climbing the tree. And PJ looks like he's having fun. The possums like to hang upside down, but hanging upside down gave PJ a headache. I don't think bunnies like to hang upside down. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig or a moose or a possum. I want to be a... Uh-oh. Skunk! And PJ went to live with the skunks. This will be very interesting. It did not take PJ very long to find out that he did not like living with the skunks. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig or a moose or a possum or most of all, a skunk. What I really want to be is a... And there's the skunk. And this must have been a long day because there's PJ Bunny and there's the moon. So what's he want to be? What do you, do you know? No? Bunny! So PJ hurried home. The funny bunnies were very happy to see him. PJ was very happy to see them. And there's all his brothers and sisters. That night, PJ ate all of his cooked carrots played with every one of his brothers and sisters. He was so happy to be a bunny again that he did not care that his ears were very big. At least everyone can see that I'm a bunny, PJ said. And there's PJ straightening his bow tie out. And up there he's eating the carrots. And there he's having all kinds of fun with his brothers and sisters. PJ said, I'm not a bear, or a bird, or a beaver, or a pig, or a moose, or a possum, or a skunk. Looks like he's just having fun with his family. And that's the end of the book. It's not easy being a bunny. And thank you very much for your help. And wave bye to our friends. Thank you for listening and hopefully you'll like the book.